Justice and repeat Odonya ordered the DT Bank of Uganda and Kenya to refund the entire mortgage and land titles which are Miss Chugunda's offered as security to acquire loan from the financial facility. It was a second defendant's loan was illegal, unethical, and lawful, in breach of trust, in breach of fiduciary duty, and in breach of the Financial Institution Act 2004 as amended and the Bank of Uganda Consumer Protection Guidelines 2011. I do, I do vacate the order of an audit and account of all the first and second plaintiff as was previously issued by this court. Fred Mwema, Ms. Chigundi's lawyer, welcomed the ruling. This decision is based purely on law. What does the law say? The law says if you want to do banking business in Uganda, you go to the Bank of Uganda for a license. That's what the law says. We have showed the court here, and we shall show any other court they take us to, that there was no license. That's why Diamond Trust Bank Kenya did not produce any license. You've been following in court. Amis Chigundu was happy with the court's decision and vowed to put his own bank to solve such problems. Diamond Trust Bank Uganda and Kenya trouble started when Miss Chigundu acquired a loan from DTB Uganda. However, it connived with DTB Kenya to offer him a loan without his consent, after which DTB Kenya allegedly started to withdraw money from his account totaling 220 billion. So I made an application to court that within this illegality, their defense should be struck out and they should give me my 120 billion dollars that was about my, my 120 billion shillings that was, was taken off my account. I'm very happy today that court has decided in my interest. Amis Chigun reported the board over 34 billion and US dollar 23 million from DTB Uganda. Diamond Trust Bank Uganda and Kenya in this case was represented by Councilor Joseph Chirio Wachiwanuka. Deborah Namamonde, UBC News. Hey, what do you